buddy? What's going on? Hey man, just got off the sis. I am set for a semester. Oh yeah, anything looking cool? <laughs> oh yeah, man. I'm an introduction to magic tricks. I'm so stoked. Oh, oh sweet, with Professor Jones, he's the bomb. No, no, I'm taking it with Smith. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Wait, wait, wait <laughs> what's wrong with Smith? Dude, have you not checked him out on Rape My Professors? He's got all ones! Yeah, number one! Yeah, I want my professors to be number one! <laughs> no. One out of five. And Zeroes is honestly too high. He is honestly the worst teacher I've ever honestly had. I've honestly thought that hell seemed more honestly bearable. Oh, honestly! Oh! All oh, caps! Worst class ever. Book oh. sucks. Lecture suck. Mm. Test suck. Ah. All around bad class. You should have at least seen the sad face. Yeah, and no chili peppers. Ugh, what have I done? <laughs> oh god, it's like the early reviews for the Phantom Menace. Getting oh. <laughs> refreshed. Getting refreshed. Oh god. your horses, boys. Girl? Is that you, Great Gazoo? <laughs> oh, no, my son. It's your loyal narrator. I'm here to tell you a few things you need to know about Rate My Professors. Mr. Sandman, bring me a drink. RateMyProfessors.com is an evaluation website founded in May 1999 by John Swapsiansky to, quote, take chatter that may be used in the lunchroom or the dorm room and organize it so that it can be used by the students. In January 2007, the site was sold to MTVU. Today, it has more than 6 million ratings for more than half a million professors. When I heard that I was rated number two, I thought it was out of maybe three people. I had no idea there was over a million faculty members who were involved in this particular survey. So do I think I'm the number two professor really? I don't know, um, but I know I try my best. RateMyProfessors.com is a typical Web 2.0 site, meaning that it's a platform that encourages user participation and relies on user-generated content. The student rates the professor on a scale of one to five in the categories of easiness, helpfulness, clarity, textbook use, and, of course, Raider's interest in the course. Also, the student has the option of rating the professor's appearance as either hot or not. Despite the features that RateMyProfessors.com provides, if students approach the site casually uninformed, abuses can arise. I've used Rate My Professor like as a uh, matriculating first year to figure out which professor was like the easiest or like the best or for a particular section. While a for students by students mentality fosters a sense of democracy, it can also give students a false sense of trust in contributors who always remain anonymous. Many professors and even students express the same fears surrounding Rate My Professors and its accuracy and accountability. Um, evaluations can be very hurtful, so some faculty won't read them for that reason. Yeah. First of all, let's look at who is commenting. You don't have to comment to view, so most Rate My Professors users never comment at all. In our survey, only 15% of all respondents had ever written an evaluation on the site. This power law distribution is typical of most Web 2.0 platforms. The phenomenon applies to YouTube comments, Flickr contributions, and wiki edits. Therefore, the contributions made by the minority of Rate My Professors users represent the majority of all users on the site. But this representation is further skewed since most users only bother to comment because they either have extremely positive or negative feelings most of the time. I would say one of the biggest problems is that 
On RateByProfessor.com you get two extremes. You get people who love the classes and then people who hate the classes. You don't get anyone in the middle who just goes, well, that was an okay class and puts that on there. So what you have to do is you basically have to filter out the information when you're looking at it and basically find a happy medium. People usually get on there when they have some sort of extreme opinion about their professor and so they only are going to get on there and say, oh man, this guy's awful or this guy's great. But uh, they're not going to, you know, say, oh, this guy's really, really mediocre. That's just silly. Positive ones have been really gushing and saying, like, hey, you should really take this class. Um, like, this professor will really teach you how to write or teach you how to think and teach you about new ideas. And the less positive ones have been, like, you know, you want to stab yourself in the eye every 20 minutes in this class. It is typical of Web 2.0 sites to fall into something Garrett Hardin coined the tragedy of the commons. It is defined on Wikipedia, ironically enough, as the theory that many individuals acting in their own self-interest can ultimately destroy a limited resource, even when this destruction is clearly not in anyone's long-term interest. So, basically, the minority of Rate My Professor's users that share the site can potentially skew the ratings out of their own self-interest, even though the results benefit no one. The rating system is problematic, even for users with the best of intentions. I don't know if a one means that the professor is either like really easy or really hard. So that, that's really confusing. I still don't know what that means. I don't know if a five is hard or if a five is easy. And just so you know, Jeff, fives are the best. Oh, my lucky stars. Okay. Smiley faces and chili peppers constitute an overall design that it's not something to be taken seriously. By the time the user gets to writing an actual review, the quality of the review often reflects the need to entertain rather to inform students about their educational experience. And the students are aware of it, which is really wonderful. Uh, they do use RateMyProfessor.com as, as a tool, um, but uh, uh, for the most part, they, they just uh, tease me a little bit about it, um, which is wonderful. That's, that's fine. They do think the fact that it is associated with MTV is, is cool, so uh, uh, they do like that. Were you, uh, are you aware that MTV currently owns the site? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, though. Really? It surprises me that MTV would be interested in uh, stuff like that as opposed to more entertainment. Major entertainment conglomerate Viacom now owns Rate My Professors through MTVU. However, few students or professors are aware that Rate My Professors is privately owned by a major corporation. The fact that it is owned by MTV, which means it's owned by Viacom, isn't it? Yes. You know, um, is really troubling because then you're talking about a major media corporation trying to figure out a way to make money off of what is essentially uh, an unreliable and I think irresponsible way of rating and figuring out the quality of instruction in the classroom. MTV was probably attracted to the site because the content has always been of a spectacular, entertaining value, in addition to the traffic of its target audience, of course. Indeed, the original content mirrors the medium around which the site was created. To organize and extend classroom chatter and gossip into an online forum. So, boys, how do you feel about Rate My Professors now that I've shed a bit more light on the subject? So... I don't get it. Is Rate My Professors bad? Should we stop using it so we don't create a, a tragedy of the commons or whatever that old guy said? <laughs> oh no, my boys. As with any Web 2.0 platform, we need to be well-informed users and critical about the uses and abuses of the site. Oh, oh gee. gee. Thanks, Thanks narrator. narrator. <laughs> well, Jeff. Maybe you don't need to be worried about your magic class after all. <laughs> yeah, maybe the guys who rated him were just a bunch of tricksters. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll be okay after all. <laughs>